You can put the fin boxes in at different times. We're gonna put it in right after the bottom lamination. Okay, so you wanna line it up here. We got our marks and then you can see on this template there's a center line. So that's the center, that's the center right there. And uh, you always wanna line it up this to the right and this to the left, the nose of the board like that. So everything's lined up right there. And we'll just route it out. This router bit has already been measured to be at the right depth. It's really important that you already have the depth of this measure so you're not cutting too deep or too shallow. If you cut too deep, you could put too much resin in there and it's gonna be heavier. And it's also, the resin would likely to exotherm and actually melt the foam or the thin box, which is really bad. So I like to put it in there to make sure it's at the right depth and everything I want. Perfect, look at that. Uh, we're going to do the same side for the other and align it. Again, you want to make sure that the depth didn't change. The depth is really important here. It's better to obviously not go too deep, and if you have to, go deeper. And this one looks like it fits pretty good. It's easier to line up, but what's difficult is you really want to make sure you're pressing it down because once the router bit hits the stringer, they have a tend to jump. Some guys put tape over it and they'll tape it down. Um, that'll work. Otherwise, you just hold it down. Here you can see the mark because these fin boxes were actually marked for a future fin box. Uh, it's a little bit longer. So typically you won't see the marks on where it is. You might see one, like the back one to line it up, but typically you won't see the front one. So what you want to do is you want to get this to about right there. And I, I like to do it between this one and this one, because it's not going to be perfect because of the tail rocker. So right around like, like that. So these ones, might drift a little bit this way, and these ones might drift a little bit that way. So because I cut the hole a little too deep, I am gonna cheat by filling the hole. Right here we're mixing up the, the polyester and here you're just putting maybe three ounces in there and then uh, just a couple drops of the catalyst. When you put the resin in you kind of want to go about maybe a quarter of the way up. It's better to have too much resin in there and have it ooze out than to not have enough. If you're not getting it to ooze out you're probably probably don't have enough in there and then you just wipe away the the excess. If you press it all the way down, um, once you hit all the way bottom, it should be, the placement should be where you want it to be. Sometimes guys will set their fins with fins in there. That's for a couple reasons. One is so they, if the resin gets too hot, it'll exotherm and it'll put pressure on the fin box and it'll be difficult to stick a fin in there. Um, the other reason is they like to eye up the angle and if the, the holes for the fin box are a little too big, you can get some play in there and the, the angle, the toe end might be a little different, the, uh, the cant might be a little off. 